everybody. Welcome to All Things Overlanding. On this week's Three Minute Thursday, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about a piece of gear that I recently got that I am super excited about. Um, it's from a company called PGY Tech, and they make a lot of really cool stuff for drones, for videography, mounts, things like that. Um, so that's why I say it's a little out of the ordinary. Um, if you are into recording your trips, which a lot of us overlanders and off-roaders are, we like to record, you know, us going over obstacles or going over down trees or up rock walls or whatever the case may be, um, then this is definitely something you're going to want to stick around for. So you're going to want to check this bad boy out. So this is the PGY suction cup. I don't know. There might be a fancy name for it. I don't know. I'm, I'll put it on the screen if there is. Um, but I just got this thing directly from PGY, and I tell you what, I've had several of these mostly cheaper suction cup mounts, and I would not trust them to keep my phone or my camera or my DJI Osmo Pocket on the outside of my vehicle without falling off. This thing, though, literally sucks, like, in a good way. So if you want to learn more about this, stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So as I mentioned, on today's 3 Minute Thursday, I'm going to be reviewing the PGY Tech Suction Cup. This is a brand new release. I think they just let it go um, on Amazon. They're still waiting to get it in stock. So I actually went around Amazon and just ordered this straight from um, PGY, the manufacturer themselves. It took about a week, week and a half to get here, so it took a little bit, um, but nothing too crazy. Uh, Maybe available on Amazon now. I'll go ahead and put a link below to it just in case you're interested in purchasing this. It's an affiliates link. So if you click through it and buy it, I might get a couple cents, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, so definitely if you're interested in buying it, click on the link below and check it out. Um, here's what I like about this thing, though. So again, as I mentioned, I've had several of these things, right? I've had several of these suction cup mounts. Now, most of the time, again, you guys know me, I'm cheap, right? I don't like to spend a ton of money on stuff like that because then I figure I can get more gear if I get a cheaper suction cup and a cheaper other type of mount and maybe a tripod. Um, I want to get as much as I can for my money. But I've also gone through a ton of those and they've broken apart and shredded themselves or fallen off the vehicle and I've lost, you know, a camera or a phone or whatever and had to go back and find it. Um, and I risk breaking those every single time that happens. So I finally decided I watched a lot of videos. I read a lot of research on this thing and this thing is a beast. So let me show you a little bit here. First of all, it's made of metal, which I know that sounds funny, but most of these things are made of plastic. And the way that they cinch on this little ball here um, is, you know, this is usually like a rubber or plastic ball. And then when you turn the, the thing on the side, it closes, it pulls in the, the metal centerpiece here, which squeezes the ball and then holds it in place. Um, an example of that, and I'll put a link down below to them too. They weren't terrible. They just fell apart after like a year of use, um, or my Joby mounts. And those are the ones that I'm thinking of that had sort of a rubber ball and a plastic surround on them. So the idea is the same. The idea was fine with those. The execution was just poor. They just fell apart. Now this thing though, so it's got, everything's made of metal. This, the housing is made of metal. This switch is made of metal. You twist it just barely any, and it's totally loose, both ends. So when you, you just have to twist that one little knob there and it tightens the whole thing down so you put it in the position you want and then it has a quarter 20 on the top like most of these things um, it also has and this is really cool it has a quick release little pin here so you can just seriously pull that out super quick swap in and out your new you know mount so if you had multiple cameras that you wanted to sync up it it's really cool and you get two of these pins with this thing too so if you ever lost one then you've got a backup but it goes in clamps down and you're locked which I love that. It's just so cool. Like most of them are the screw type and it just kind of sucks. You got to screw, 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 and then it can loosen up over time, especially on like bumpy roads or things like that. This thing though goes in, locks in place and you're locked. But so check this out. So you can see I've got it at a weird angle, right? I turn it like that. And I mean, this thing is, I'm like really pushing on it here, right? Like, and it is not moving. It holds that thing perfectly still. Um, and then the suction cup mount, you know, it has sort of your typical thing where it has just this pa this panel that pulls it and tightens it up. Um, so, you know, you put it on your, your area of your truck or on, on your window. You want to clean the area off. That's your best bet if you're going to stick this thing on there. Stick it on there. Press down on that. And, I mean, it sucks. It suctions really super tight onto just about anything. So, 
I have like I feel no qualms about strapping this thing to the truck and going down a washboard road or strapping it to the truck on a highway and going, you know, 60, 65 miles an hour and not having to worry about this thing falling off because it is so good. It has so much pressure on that suction cup and this mount is just so sturdy. I mean, you can see how tight that is. And again, you just barely loosen it and you're loose. You're good to go. It's amazing. And as I mentioned, so here's the difference too. These balls are metal and the surround is metal. So I part of the reason I bought this, it's around 40 bucks. And again, I was like, oh, 40 bucks. I got my Joby mounts for maybe like 20, 25. But I mean, that's not that much more for this thing. And I have no doubt that this thing's going to last for a much longer time. Um, you also get a year warranty with it, I believe. So that's kind of nice as well. Um, but I mean, again, they just, they literally took a great design, the idea of the, the pincher with the balls on the ends, and they just made it better, right? So again, I want to keep this kind of short, but I love this piece of gear. If you are into recording your, your travels at all and you're looking for something like this, go down to the description, click on the, the link down there, get yourself one of these. They're awesome. So anyways, I hope that helps if you're looking at this. If you're not into overlanding, if you're just looking at camera gear and you stumbled upon my video, thanks for watching. Um, I do do some camera gear reviews, but it's mostly camping and overlanding stuff. But if you're interested and you're just new to the channel, definitely consider clicking subscribe and hitting the bell down below to be notified when I drop new videos. I drop at least two a week, so there's a lot of good content coming out um, every single week. So hope that's helpful. Appreciate you guys. Have a good week. Talk to you soon.